So I got this idea. You ready for my idea? You're going to love this idea. Now, <clears throat> classic conditioning, right? The conditioning of people's minds, right? When people, when people like, uh, what is a correctional facility, for example? Right? <clears throat> correctional facility, by definition, is a facility designed to correct a behavior, right? So when a behavior is bad, it's like, it's like taking the child and smacking the child on the on the hand, right? Or, or showing the child that uh, that there's a different type of behavior than the one that uh, that they're uh, engaging in and uh, is hurting other people, right? So, my idea is is rather simple. If there's only 500 um, billionaires in the country, and 10,000 publicly traded companies with approximately the same number of CEOs and a ruling class that's probably in the two or three hundred thousand uh, number, right? It's less than the, the one tenth of one percent, right? So I suggest that we what, what we do is we to, to correct the problem. Now I know people think that taxation is not the way to go, but let me tell you something: taxation is the only way to go, right? You don't you don't listen. This is what you don't do, right? You don't try to 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 force the hand of people in a uh, you know, an old school socialist way or a, a, a already broken capitalist way. What you do is you, you let the money rain down and let people decide. Let a free society of people decide how they want to proceed with their, with their uh, treasure. All right, so by treasure, by, by, oops, oh, I got a visitor. Oh, I got a visitor. I got a visitor. Uh -oh, see the tail? Ah, I got a visitor. So, hello, say hello. Hello. Morning. Say hello. Whoa. So, where was I before the beautiful cat took my breath away? All right, so, you tax the rich, right? Yeah. <clears throat> if you don't like 80%, I just raised it to 90%. I just raised the corporate tax rate to 90%, right? And we take some of that money and we build we build nice pr correctional facilities for the rich. Ah, correctional facilities. We have, <coughs> excuse me, we have one, we have two million people, two million poor people in jail right now. <coughs> two million poor people in jail for mostly petty petty nonsense, uh, you know, turnstiles and. Nonviolent crime, drugs, and stuff, right? Legalize all that stuff. And empty the jails out and, you know, reserve a nice one. Like, you know, we only need one big facility. Maybe that holds like four or 5,000 people, right? Ah, ah. The first ever correctional facility to correct the rich, right? And we forced them. Like, you remember, in, you remember that scene in, um, what was it? Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Remember Silence of the Lambs? When... When the when the uh, the when Jodie Foster went in to visit uh, Anthony Hopkins in the in the cell, and <clears throat> they had the screen on and they had the correctional vid video playing, and Anthony Hopkins says to Jodie Foster, she says, "Well, yeah, well, when you leave, they'll turn the volume way up." Ha <laughs> ha! See, that's how you treat the rich, right? Because they don't know; they've lost touch, and there's too many degrees of separation between them and poor people. Right? And they're the ones running the show, politicians included. They've gotten so fat and so rich. And why does Nancy Pelosi have $100 million? Why, does, why did Barney Frank resign and, and take his $100 million and, and, and run to Connecticut? Right? Why did he? Right? It's the money. Right? So what you have to do is tax evasion. Right? It, that's what it is. Right? That's what they're doing. They're not, they're not reciprocating on the treasure. Right? That's what corporations do. They take the money and they, they get a team of lawyers and they move it around. You take them, you take the team of lawyers, you throw everybody in the correctional facility and you make them do hard time, right? Where they actually have to work with their hands for, for $2 an hour or, or make it so that if you want to eat, then you have to work with your hands in the outside. <laughs> right? Is it a fantasy? Is it, is it, a, is it a ridiculous opinion? I, I think we're in really I think we're in really severe times right now. My read on it is that you're not going to shake the oligarchy. You're not going to shake them. They're too smart. They're too. They have too much of a lead, 
right? They're so far out in front that, pff, look, they, they're cutting everybody offline. I, you know, I, I, I want to keep this kind of a, a generalization because I, I, I think that this, this video, uh, when played back in five years, would be a, an exceptional prophecy. I'm making a prophecy right now that we need to create a correctional facility for, for the rich, for their, for their crimes against the people. Right when they they're stealing, they're thieves, but they use various degrees of separation through the taxation, through through the legal system, lawyers, judges, you know. So so we need to we need to correct them, right? So this is my time capsule video on on uh, the the creation of a of a, of a, a criminal justice system that focuses on the wealthy, right, and cuts them down the size. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. Peace.